Merry Christmas and happy holidays, everyone. It's hard to believe that 2020 is almost over, uh, but it looks like we're gonna make it. And it's been challenging for so many of you, especially those with kids who have been working. So if that's you, I just wanna applaud you. Uh, you will never receive all the appreciation you deserve, but I know it wasn't easy. And I would just like to say thank you on behalf of your children who won't realize how hard it was for another 30 years. So just know that you did a good thing. Uh, we've had an exceptionally busy year in real estate as we've helped many people who realized that they needed more or different space because of the pandemic. So let's take a look at the numbers like we always do to help you understand what the market is doing and help you use real estate to achieve your long-term personal and financial goals. One of the biggest stories, though not always highlighted, were the record low mortgage rates this year, which fueled the demand for housing. Now, when mortgage rates are lower, monthly payments are lower. Take a look at this example. This is a home that was sold in 2018 for $700,000. It sold this year for $800,000. That's a $100,000 gain in two years. When these folks bought the house in 2018, the interest rate was 4.5%. This year, the purchaser got a 2.75 interest rate. Here's what I want to point out. Even though the buyer in 2020 paid $100,000 more for that house, their monthly payment was over $200 a month lower than the buyer in 2018 because of that lower interest rate. Also, and here's the big one here, the 2020 buyer will pay $940,000 in total payments, which is about $80,000 less than the buyer from 2018 in a 30 year mortgage. So the person from 2018 who bought the house for less is gonna pay $80,000 more for that same home over 30 years than the person who bought it for a higher price. I know this seems counterintuitive, but if this illustrates the power of interest rates. And this is also gonna help explain why buyers are rushing out to buy homes now. Market experts like Freddie Mac suggest that the real estate market is helping the economy recover from the fallout of the pandemic. The federal government knows this, which is why they are doing everything they can to keep these interest rates low until their economy normalizes. When it does normalize though, you can expect those interest rates to go right back up. And what this chart shows is that if the interest rates go up and the prices stay the same, the buyers are gonna pay a lot more. Even if the prices come down a little bit, you'll still be in a better position in the long term if you've locked in that lower rate at a higher sales price. If this is confusing to you, you are not alone in that. The bottom line is this, just give us a call if you're thinking about buying and we're gonna evaluate your situation and help you see if now is a good time for you to buy this new home or an investment property. Now to the market statistics. This year we've watched the DC Metro real estate market divide into two markets, single family homes and townhomes, and then condos. The name of the game is more space. Single family detached homes and townhouses are in high demand and there are not enough listings for the buyers. Conversely, there are more condos for a sale than there are buyers because no one is rushing to buy small spaces. Take a look at this chart which shows the number of active listings by home type over the past five years. The number of detached homes is still declining. That's the red line. But there are more and more condos available, the yellow line. Illustrated a different way, look at the chart that shows the change in number of listings per month over the past five years to 2020. Look at the decrease in active listings for detached homes and townhouses and the huge spike in condos. This leads us to believe that we'll see a decrease in prices for condos in the next six months. And I do believe that we'll see that recovery after a year or two and the financial pressure will really be on condo owners in the meantime who have historically rented and are having trouble finding renters. And if you're looking to buy a condo in the city, I think that the next 12 months will present some very attractive options. The actual number of homes selling continues to be strong, which is great. And interestingly, the number of sales usually slows down around the end of the year, but not this year. You can see in the year over year change chart that the number of closed sales was way down in the spring and they're now much higher. And I believe for this year, we'll see more homes selling than ever in the past few years. We also see that the average sales price for detached homes and townhouses has definitely increased this year, which is quite a pop since February while they were a little bit lower. And while condos have stayed pretty steady in sales prices. Thank you, Reagan. 
So that's an overview of the market, but what does this mean for you? Well, if you're a first time buyer or looking for an investment property, a condo may be a great option for you. If you're looking to upgrade, get a bigger home, you gotta be prepared for a competitive market. It may make sense to talk to your lender early to make sure you're fully pre-qualified and you are the most attractive to sellers when you find a home you like. Let us know if that's you and we can connect you with a great lender if you don't already have one. If you're considering selling your home, know that it is a great time to sell. Houses are literally selling within days, some going on a contract within 24 hours and for thousands over the asking price. We have had great success helping sellers get multiple offers and drive the price as high as it possibly can on most homes. Now, if you already own a home and don't plan to move for a while, it might be worth your time to run the numbers on a refinance. Just be aware that lenders are swamped with requests right now, so it can sometimes take up to six months to get that refinance through. So you might wanna lock that rate in now while the interest rates are low. Now, we come to why all of this matters to you. These trends are important to understand. The markets are separate with the condos and the single families, but still somewhat interdependent and reflect what's going overall in the economy with the pandemic. Now, we firmly believe that a wise decision is an informed decision. And our team's entire mission is to help our clients achieve their long-term personal and financial goals through real estate. We believe that through a thorough understanding of the market, and your circumstances, we can help you net the most money for your home if you're a seller or get you the lowest possible price if you're a buyer, while also protecting your interests and making the process as easy as possible. So if that sounds like something that interests you or you know somebody that you care about that needs our services, please reach out. We can help you or them. Just call us directly at 202-800-0800 or email us at info at pearsonrealestate.com. I just like to end by saying thank you to everyone who's worked with us this year or supported us with the referrals of the people that you care about. We could not have done it without you. We are so thankful and we take this responsibility of being your trusted advisors very seriously. So we hope we can help you in the future. If there's anything we can do for you, please reach out. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year, and we'll see you in 2021.